Hey Dave, how do you like my t-shirt? Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, seriously, we gotta do a show. Take it off. Alright. But I'm gonna... I'm losing my Drobo cloak of invisibility. Yes. A computer for your dog, where to watch the solar eclipse online, and want to go to Mars? I'm John P. Geek Beat starts now. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Dropo. Up front, a computer for your dog? No, not Google Glass, which, as Mashable pointed out, would probably just result in pictures of other dogs' butts. Researchers are looking into teaching assistance dogs, you know, the ones that can open doors and turn on lights for people, to use a computer to call 911 for help in case of a medical emergency or to trigger an alarm on a home automation system. It's all still very early stage stuff, so no iPaw just yet. If you're not in Australia or the South Pacific, you can still view the May 9th and 10th solar eclipse live online at events. Slew.com. I don't know how you say it. It's right down here. Actually, you know what's even better? Just keep an eye on GeekBeat for the best photos and videos of the eclipse because we're going to be collecting them for you. Now about that trip to Mars, it's called Mars One and the Dutch company behind the venture is raising money in an unconventional fashion. First, there's the $38 open application process to submit a video for a chance to compete for a seven-year training program that will also be part of a reality TV series, all in the hopes of raising $6 billion to finance the mission itself, which is a one-way ticket. You'll die on Mars, people, assuming you ever get there. If you're crazy enough to want to go, we've got the link for you at geekbeat.tv. Personally, I don't think we should be going anywhere we can't get back from, but hey, I'm also the guy who doesn't eat vegetables. What's that got to do with it? Don't question my authority, Dave. They, they, they don't have vegetables on Mars, so you're a perfect candidate. Speaking of eating your vegetables, did you get a Drobo yet? <laughs> what I'd like to know is, what kind of Drobo do you have? Tweet me at John Pose or Google Plus me and use the hashtag DroboLove. If you do, something cool might just happen. I'm not promising anything, but <laughs> it might just happen. And if you don't have a Drobo yet, might I suggest the Drobo Mini? You know, we've been talking about a lot of different Drobos lately, like the 5N, which goes in your network, and the 5D, which tends to connect directly to your desktop. But it's funny, all the Drobos we have around here, I carry my Drobo with, Mini with me everywhere I go. I literally take it home with me every night, and I'm always doing stuff on it, because I've got four terabytes of data on this thing. It's FireWire connected. It works perfectly with my MacBook Air, and I just love it. So honestly, I can't recommend it too highly for you guys. It's fantastic. I think you should get a Mini. Just saying. Here's something else I'm excited about. Tesla just announced record sales of over $580 million. That's up 83% from last quarter. They're building their new Model S in record numbers and expect demand to exceed 15,000 a year in the US and 30,000 worldwide. The S was Motor Trend's 2013 car of the year and this all electric vehicle has a range of around 250 miles. The $60,000 version will do zero to 60 in five seconds, while the $100,000 version will do it in four. Tesla also recently announced some unique financing that's kind of a hybrid between a purchase and a lease, which will get you into a four-door rapid electric family hauling business for around 500 bucks a month. Very impressive indeed. Finally, if you're looking for adventure, might I suggest a visit to the world's tallest chair swing ride in Stockholm? But be warned, this is not for the faint of heart. The eclipse at Gronalun, I don't know how you say that, spins you around at 44 miles an hour, 30 stories up in the air. How do you say holy crap in Swedish? Once back on the ground, you may wish to visit the ABBA Museum, which also just opened in Stockholm.
This gives a whole new meaning to Stockholm Syndrome. I'm John P. Take a chance on me? Or Callie, the dancing queen? I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> give me, give me like a... Mark Wahlberg? I want to look like He-Man right in this area. From here to here, make me look like He-Man. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I want a solid gold toilet, but it's just not in the cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>